What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Adrian Nice. Welcome to another episode of Mouth and Out. Right now, we're in the world-famous audio box, home of the baby and other familiar faces. Uh, right now, I'm here with... Naraj P, a.k.a. Naraj, you know what I'm saying? Miss Big Fold to the box, close the vibe. You know what I'm saying? A whole lot of vibes in here, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, having me, though. Oh, yeah. Hey, thank you for coming, taking the time out of your day. Come vibe out with us. <laughs> Nah, big facts. Um, so before we hop into the music, um, I kind of like to give my audience a little background about the artists I'm interviewing. So I kind of, let's take them through um, you and your background. Um, so where are you from and where'd you grow up at? Um, I'm from a small town in Pentecost, South Carolina. Um, the co the four we call it. Um, uh, my background, I mean, as far as the music, man, we've been, I've been doing music for like three, three years uh, strong now with my uh, my homies and shit. So like, I mean, we've been going at it. Like at first we had a little group, right? Yeah. So then like after a couple of years, you know, went by and passed by, we like decided like, all right, we about to do our own little thing. So, I mean, since about 2017, we've been going strong with the music so far, yeah, so yeah. Um, in your household, were your parents playing music um, in the household, were they in, uh, in the industry? Do you have brothers that were also doing music, brothers, sisters, anything like that? Or was it just mainly? I mean, that's the only brother I got over there. So, yeah, so that, yeah, that's my little brother. But um, as far as music, I mean, I've been around music since I've been, like, little. So, like, my pops put me in, like, a, old, like a, a bunch of old school music. Like, you could say I got an old soul, bro, because I like, I like to listen to, like, a, a lot of R&B and shit like that. So, I mean, like, I've been around music. Plus... Damn, I play the drums too, so that's a little fun fact for everybody who don't know that. Like, yeah, like I play the drums, so I mean, how'd you get into drums? Were you in the tr church playing? Yeah. Like, everybody starts in the church. I'm trying to tell you. I ain't got like, yeah, like, church. Yeah, we stay. I grew up in the church, bro. So yeah, like I fell in love with the drums. Like ever since then, like I've been mean, yeah, like attached to music. So I mean, it's already. But I grew up doing sports though, so it's like basketball, football, baseball, but. It ain't work out, so I'm like, yeah, all right. It's music now, yeah, for sure. And uh, when did, would you say you actually got serious with uh, music? Did you say 2017? Started in 17, but, I mean, we, of course you was taking it serious back then, but now I feel like I got something now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, actually being consistent with the music, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I feel like now, like, this is my time for me to, like, actually, like, go head in and take it serious now. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so, <clears throat> right now, is it just you kind of um doing music, or do you have, like, a collective of um, people? No, nah, it's not just me. Um, like I said, I mean, yeah, once we had the group, the group was called HBG, right? So what does that stand for? Uh, it was Heartbreak Gang at the time, yeah. So yeah, so yeah, HBG, yeah. But um, after that, it went from HBG. Then we switched over the name to Camp Demon Entertainment. So like, what that is, it's like basically like a subset. You know what I'm saying? It's like a sub. <laughs> it's like a subset of them. You know what I'm saying? What we already started. So it's like okay. instead of us being a group, we just like a big ass entertainment group. Yeah. You got myself. You got Spook. You got uh, Bam Wallace, Bam 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 Smirk. You got down Pop Out Ten, uh, Ten Capone. You got Two Poppin'. Um, you got MTL Pusey, KG. Uh, I ain't wanna miss nobody. Uh, I think, I think that's all. I think that's all. If I'm missing anybody, I'm sorry. And um, are they all rappers or some producers, engineers, or all y'all rappers. rappers? Okay. Smooth. Smooth. Yeah, shout out my nigga Smooth. Yeah. In the building. Can't forget smooth, huh? Can't forget. <laughs> Can't forget smooth, but yeah, yeah. That's a, yeah, all of us is just artists. Like, um, like I said, we still doing our own thing, but it's like you know what I'm saying. We trying to you know move as collective and you know what I'm saying. Really, um, type shit. You feel me? Yeah. Do you guys have management, or are you looking to be the management for you guys? Uh, I guess I'm just talking about the collective at the moment. Nah, I I mean me personally, like I'm looking. Like I told you, like yeah, I'm looking for management. So like. 
I feel like if we could find somebody who's genuine, you know what I'm saying, really know the game and, you know, the ins and outs of the industry, you know, like, they can help us get to, like, a bigger level, you know, you know what I'm saying, a huge platform, then, yeah. So, what do you feel like you need from management? Say I had 200 management companies right now in my pocket, in my phone, right now, I could call up and be like, okay, I got this dude, he want management. What are you looking for from them um, to be like, okay, I'm, I'm good with them? Oh, man, um, like I said, you got to be 100% genuine with me. I mean, I just feel like you got to have your best interests at heart. You feel me? Like, you can't be greedy, you know what I'm saying, just in it for the money. Like, nah, like, I need somebody that want to see me grow, want to see me reach a higher level, you know what I'm saying, just keep expanding and, you know what I'm saying, not hitting no ceilings and that like that, just straight through the roof. I mean, know the ins and outs of the game, you know what I'm saying? Ain't, like I said, too shysty and that like that. Like, everything got to be real genuine. So basically someone who's authentic, real genuine, but also has a good sense of uh, music industry knowledge, yeah. can take you in the right direction, guide you the right way, take you to the next level. Okay, well, if y'all are looking, <laughs> we have an artist. Go ahead and drop your uh, social media in case they want to tap it. Yeah, follow me on uh, IG at Bank Road Narage. Um, that's B A N K R R O L L N A D R O J. It's my name spelled backwards. So yeah, follow me on IG. That's your real name spelled backwards. Yeah, that's my real name spelled backwards. What, so what's? Your wow. <laughs> I just for short. Yeah. Okay, that's dope. Um, okay. Um, do you what's do you have like an ultimate goal for your music music career? Just being worldwide, like hitting that mainstream level, mm-hmm. yeah. So I feel like that'll be the biggest goal. Cause like, once I get my foot in the door, I'ma venture off and do different things. Like I wanna, like I got a clothing line I'm trying to start. I got my own shoe already made, like prototype. I just ain't got it with me like right now. So like, shoot. physically or is drawn out? Like physically, like. Oh, you should have brought that. Oh yeah. I mean, I ain't have it though. So you know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> It's all cool. Next interview. <laughs> I can go see that on my IG, actually, okay. though. It's on my IG. And um, like I said, shoes, clothes, bro. I'm trying to act a little bit. Um, like, whatever, man. Like, I'm trying to, yeah. So music, we're using music as a stepping stone to kind of um, take us in these other directions. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But, but the music is going to be, like, the main yeah. focus, of course. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. It only makes sense, you know, yeah. to start these other businesses, become an entre- I mean, you're an entrepreneur, entrepreneur already, uh, but we can't put all the eggs in one basket when it comes to money. Seven streams of income. <laughs> Seven streams of income. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, if you could get a feature from any artist in the industry, money didn't matter. You just got to pick and choose. Who would you get a feature from? Be anybody doesn't have to be hip hop. It can be. I need one. I need one. <laughs> I need one. I'm gonna have to go with Thug, bro. Thug? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go with Thug. He's a fire ass artist. I ain't mad at that. I I sounds would collide. Like I can do pop. I can do R and B. I can do regular hip hop. So it's like, I feel like he like the same type of artist I am. You know what I'm saying? So like. Not comparing myself to Thug, but yeah, you know what I mean. So like, I feel like that'll be some great, like great music, bro. So, so if we had to um, describe your sound, how would you describe your sound for people that haven't heard you before? Um, it's raw, authentic, uh, edgy, poppy. You know what I'm saying? It's the vibes, bro. Like I'm the vibe, so yeah, like that's my sound. Like vibes, like straight vibes. Like yeah, like I'm. The nigga you want to turn on, like you at like a kickback or you know what I'm saying, Cook, man, whatever you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it's re- it's really whatever how y'all feeling, but yeah, I'm that nigga you want to turn on though. With the vibes going. He brings the vibes. Speaking of vibes, <laughs> we got this album out. Yeah. Vibes on the rooftop. Yeah, vibes, on the rooftop. vibes from the rooftop. Yeah. It's out right now. Right. All streaming platforms. Uh, y'all go get that. Uh, how many songs are on that album? I only put eight on it. Why eight? I only put eight because I have so much music unreleased, and I haven't dropped in a year. I took a hiatus. I had a baby in 2019, 
Congrats. I yeah, appreciate it. Um, the last project I dropped was in 2019, I want to say. So I took a break from music, you know what I'm saying, handle my priorities and stuff like that. And then, like, how that tape name came about, I don't mean to get off a uh, topic, but, um, yeah, we, I know we talk. But, yeah, um, how that tape name came about is uh, I got my own home studio, like, through my family and shit, through my cousin and shit. So, yeah. So, like, once he came and, you know what I'm saying, we set it up, he showed me how to work everything. Like, I just started sitting down freestyling. So, uh, like, you know, I'm the vibe, so, you know what I'm saying, fives from the rooftop, the, the head. So, yeah, that's where that came from. But, yeah, man, I was writing music, bro, and I used to get, like, so much writer's block. So, I was like, I can't even, you know, I got too much feelings. I got too much thoughts. So, I'm going to just sit down and just make this music. But back to, you know, the hiatus, like I said, like, I've been – on the hiatus for a year, I've been gone, you know, I've been, you know, peeping the scene, seeing everybody, you know what I'm saying, of course supporting, you know what I'm saying, so I was like, bro, it's, it's time, like, I can't just keep holding this music, so I'm like, all right, bro, I'm about to just go ahead and give them something, like, you know what I'm saying, get my name back out there, so, yeah, we lit now. Files from the rooftop. And Platforms, bro. So if, so while they're listening to the album, let's just say, you know, they don't have, for whatever reason, they don't have uh, time to listen to the full album. They get one or two songs. What one or two songs are we sending them to? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Let me get your two favorite songs, and then let me get the two that are going crazy. Um, my two favorite is going to be Outback and whoever, or Spare Me. But I'm, I'm going to send y'all to... Um, I send y'all to Outback, and I also I I will also send y'all to uh, either Spare Me or Early Bird. Like I said, it all depends on what they like, bro. You know what I'm saying? Is the theme of the whole tape uh, the same, or would you say each song is different? See, that, see, that's what you know. what I'm saying with the vibes, like it's different vibes. Like it, uh, like no song sounds the same. I don't sound the same on none of the songs. Like so, it's like. Just different mixes and stuff like that. Yeah. A whole tape of different vibes. A whole vibe tape of different vibes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, that's what we went with it. So, like, yeah, I don't like none of my music to sound the same. Like, I, like I said, like, it's pop. It consists of pop, R&B, and hip-hop. So, it's, like, all three genres, like, put in the, you know, one. So, yeah. Interesting. Y'all go check that shit out. <laughs> um, okay, so to that same question earlier. Um, so we got who you're going to do your feature with. Um, so if um, so, now we're let's talk about touring. If you could tour with any artist in the industry, who would you tour with? Now it's different. We got the audience to worry about, stage presence, energy, all of that. The baby. The baby off gate. The baby. He lit himself, so yeah, he lit himself. Like he, he seemed like a cool person to be around. Like, and being that we we both from Carolina, like, hey nigga, if you watching this interview, I see your name on this wall, bro. Come holler at me in my DM, nigga. Sign me. Fact. Yeah, facts. <laughs> Keep it in the Carolinas. Keep it in the Carolinas for sure. For sure. For sure. Show sure that. Yeah. The baby, we touring with the baby. Goddamn it. No, he definitely bring the energy. I done seen videos and all types of shit. That nigga going crazy. All of them be going crazy. <laughs> like, the, like, I, like that nigga. Uh, what is it? Creative director or like his videographer? Like, oh, uh, you talking about real goats? Real goats. Real goats. Yeah, they be um putting together. Be the best video director award of the century. Cause like I ain't never seen real. somebody get that creative and like you know what I'm saying. Actually, like make movies with their videos like they've been doing like and he doing it for all the artists time on the bdb so yeah that's dope it's a, it's a whole different uh era i would say a whole different something different yeah. in music videos that we bring in we ain't see it till you know the baby shot up showed his own style yeah. real goat style and everything i agree with you yeah, yeah for sure of the century god <laughs> not 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 the year yeah. <laughs> the century nigga <laughs> for sure yeah, for sure that, for sure that. I agree, I agree. Yeah, they bring a whole different vibe and a style. Definitely creative. Um, you know, you know, you get the cliche music videos. Everybody just standing there on the porch, walking back and forth. But they got characters, they got scenes, and it all makes sense. And and that's what I'm trying to do in my videos. Like I ain't trying to just do the normal 
shebang with the video. Like, now nah, I'm trying to, like, take the videos. Because the videos got to be just as hard as the song, you feel me? So, yeah, we trying to go all the way up with this, yeah, this year, yeah. All right. <clears throat> so I have this segment called What the Fuck is Going On? Okay. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is going on? So, look. What the fuck is going on with these niggas goddamn storming the goddamn Capitol in Washington, D.C.? Tell me what you think and feel about that. You know what's crazy? I just went uh, back home to get my hair cut, right? And we was in the barbershop talking about that, right? So one of the barbers was asking me a question, like, how? Like, like what? I'm like, bro, like, first of all, I, I feel like that shit was honestly playing. Like, they let them, they allowed them. They definitely. Like, because... How can you take over a government officiated building? Like that makes no sense. Like, and then like they stroll through that. I'm talking about sitting in the house speaker chair and everything, like taking a podium. I seen somebody put that shit on eBay, bro. So like, <laughs> that shit, wow, bro. I mean, like, damn. Like I'm like that shit. But at the end of the day, like on a serious note, though, it's it's, it's real fucked up because how can y'all allow them to do that? And my people been out here peacefully protesting in every city and it's still pellet gun pellet bullets whatever you want to call it tear gas some people even dying and i feel bad for the people the five people who died i, I think they said they told me like five people had died at the capitol i mean but at the, come on, humanly shit, i feel bad but i don't give a fuck like i mean they get a taste of our own you know what i'm saying they get a taste of what we've been dealing with for over like what 600 years bro here's the difference though like we're out there peacefully protesting. Yeah. We not even getting past the steps, and we still got people dying. These niggas is actually committing treason and in the building, so you can only expect some people gonna die. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't want to be like nasty or cruel, but more people should have died. Like definitely, die, bro. Like, and that's just me being real. Like, cause I mean, why? I mean, I'm not saying that more people should have to be martyrs, but at the same time, it's just like, why is, why are we always the martyrs? You know, every time, you know, it's a political event or something happening. You feel me? They were saying, saying we dodged a huge bullet because, you know, they were saying like all those people had big backpacks and it, all it took was the, the right person to want to bomb oh, that man. place. All them people would be gone. You know, like, they want to call everybody else terrorists, right? <laughs> but white people been doing like, and I'm not racist at all, bro. Like, I'm not. But it's like, damn, bro. Like, how can y'all call somebody outside terrorists when you got niggas inside doing terrorist shit? Like that shit, <laughs> hypocrite. It don't make sense, bro. But I guess it's you know what I'm saying. All the higher power and elites, you know what I'm saying. So they definitely just let that happen. I, I, you know, I guess they just didn't want it to escalate, I guess. Bro, I don't care what nobody's saying, bro. Like, he need, bro need to go ahead and pack his shit. Get on, bro. Like, he told him, you know, he kind of instigated it. Like, yeah, I know he did. You could tell he did, bro. He, he, Because he, honestly, and a lot of people who don't pay attention to politics, that nigga was really trying to be a dictator, bro. Like, yeah. To, like, stay in the seat and to people vote him out. Like, yeah. And I don't know if you heard, um, but my aunt called me last night when I was in Charleston, because I just got back from Charleston last night. My aunt, she called me. She was like, well, you need to stay in the house. Um, <laughs> you need to stay in the house. Uh, I just seen this uh, girl on Facebook. She was like, um, the KKK supposedly marching down the road that you stay on. I'm like, what? Like, yeah. So um, my dad um, sent me and my sister this message saying that uh, – the you know during um, Martin Luther King Day and then we got the inauguration on the twentieth. They were saying all black boys, men, y'all need to watch out. They said they gonna be doing initiations, so they gonna be looking. <laughs> you know this could be just propaganda, but you know they was like be on the lookout. If if you see somebody stopped on the side of the road, don't stop and help them because that's how they gonna you know supposedly whatever. It was like all our black women. I ain't stopping on the side of the road for nobody. <laughs> That's a big fact. Seen too many movies, guys. If you don't, if you don't, man, if you look like you're going to try to do something to me, bro, I'm not stopping. Like, if you're a lady, I might stop. 
just because you a lady on the side of the road. Maybe how they get you. Maybe how they get you. Oh, we, let's put this pretty lady right. Hey, we stay scrapped everywhere. <laughs> Big facts. Yeah, I ain't worried about nothing. Yeah, nah, for real. For real, though. For real. Uh, that's crazy that it's kind of getting to that level of, even if it's not directly happening, still, like, the words are being thrown out in the air. You know, it's being spoken about in 2021. I mean, it kind of make you feel like a civil war is about to happen. You think that'll happen? I, I, I can't call it, but I mean, at the rate we going as not just, uh, you know, the whole world, but as a country ourselves, our, a nation, you feel me? It's just too much division. So, I mean, you got division in our own community, our own community, you got division in, you know what I'm saying? amongst different eth- uh, ethnic groups. So, I mean, it's, mm-mm. I just feel like America just be contradicting the fuck out of me. Look, man. Yeah, how do we look towards the other countries? Like, I'm sure they just like, damn, that, yo, let, yeah. let's take them over right now. <laughs> Bro, like, other countries look at us as a laughing stock, though. Yeah, like, it's that bad. It's that bad, bro. Cause like what? Cause like okay, let's say Donald Trump did initiate what happened at the Capitol, right? My cousin made a good point on Facebook. I seen it. He was like, um, if we can overtake the Capitol so easy, what can you know? what I'm saying outside terrorists and other what's stopping them? You feel me? So, and then like ain't no military, no National Guard, n- nobody was out there to stop that shit. But you got them niggas lined up in riot gear and all this when we peacefully protest in the streets so somebody got to explain to me something so i mean it don't make sense to me so all right so okay so what the fuck is going on with little wayne um selling his masters for uh a hundred a hundred k was it a hundred no a hundred mil i'm sorry a hundred million dollars maybe that nigga don't need the money (laughs) (laughs) because like yeah so let me ask you this well do you think that's enough first off not for it. Okay, so was it like every single master, every little release he ever did? That's what I'm thinking. Then no, because that nigga been, that nigga got four decades, almost four decades worth of music, bro. So it's like, a hundred million? Nah, I need about, yeah. he need a T beside that shit, bro. Woo! Uh, Wayne is the GOAT. I don't care what nobody want to say. This nigga been around for four, almost four decades, if not four decades already. His genre of music just, it just keep everybody like, oh, like I, I hear like a lot of people say they didn't like Carter Five. Yeah. They don't they didn't like funeral. They didn't like uh the uh No Ceilings three he just dropped, but I'm like, but y'all don't obviously haven't been listening to Wayne as long as I have yeah. or other people because you appreciate, you know what I'm saying, like the music. You know, like this man this man been around since Cash money took over the, the, the you know what I'm saying, <laughs> game. Nine, nine and two thousand, like that been out, bro. So for him to be that, you know what I'm saying, I like on some LeBron James shit, like something else to it, to um, you know what I'm saying. I feel like it's all you gotta adapt, be able to adapt, and you know what I'm saying, and change with time. You know what I'm saying, like as music change, as time change, you gotta be able to adapt to all that. And I feel like that's what he did. Now, what if I told you allegedly? He sold his masters, Drake's masters, and Nicki Minaj's masters <laughs> for. <laughs> I'm cool with it, like I don't, I don't know what was the purpose of it. I mean, I don't, I don't know what was the purpose of that, but that's a lot. That's a couple of T's because you got Drake, the most charted artist ever. And then you got Nicki. Like, I feel like them. That's the that's the trio that can never be duplicated ever, bro. Ever, ever. It's just too legendary. They've been around for too long, bro. And they still young, like, relatively. Like, they still young, so. It's crazy, ain't it? <laughs> um, okay. Um, so we got, <clears throat> so we have your album out, eight-song album. Um, if we send it on to something, we send it on to Outback. We send it. I can go for it with Outback. Y'all can go for it with Spare Me. I feel like Spare Me is like for the ladies. Like, yeah, so y'all can go for it with that one. Um, is that what we're pushing all 2021, or is there other projects or singles um, that's going to be dropped? Yeah, I'm going to be dropping more singles. Um, I'm probably drop like, but they all going to be videos, though. You know what I'm saying? So Not the audio, but yeah, they going to, yeah. You're just dropping the videos. 
not click in with the videos now so i'm about to start dropping videos back to back to back to back so i need y'all to really tune in and grasp like we're really we're about to go on because we really about to shoot mm -hmm. about to hit so you feel me so yeah y'all tap in for sure yeah. um are you is there a song on the album that you're shooting a video to soon oh soon um i'm doing element i was supposed to do element this past weekend mm. up here mm. um but i had a reschedule and shit. life shit. Life shit. <laughs> i had a reschedule but we'll probably be back up here um at the end of the month we're gonna be doing element so y'all look out for that one uh i think i'm gonna do rent after that i think i'm gonna do Outback, I might do out. I might end up doing Outback before I do Element. I don't know. We all see how it all playing out, pan out. But I don't. Yeah. Okay. Do, honestly, I'm gonna try to do all eight songs. All eight songs. Gotta be dope. Yeah, I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to do it. It'll help the push and everything like yeah. that. Yeah, I feel like if you know what I'm saying, they not only like cause the stream, like I'm saying, the stream's doing good. So, I mean, they listening to it every day. So. I mean, if I could come out and do videos and they see my face and you know, it's like, damn, like this nigga on his shit. So, yeah. Um, is uh, are the Carolinas where you want to ultimately reside, or are you looking to maybe move to Atlanta, New York, LA? It, it ain't got to be permanently. It could be, you know. I get this bag. <laughs> I'm going out west, bro. I'm going to LA, bro. For sure. Yeah. Happen with me. We gonna be out there. You know, all 2021 after this. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I feel like uh, the A okay. or Charlotte up here would be like a next move for me, quote unquote. But I mean, we all see, we all see how it happens. Like, I'm I'm trying to go to LA though. You're too close to home. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to go to LA for sure. Yeah, even though we are on, they're relatively the same type. Yeah, but yeah, I'm trying to go to LA for sure. Though. LA, have you ever been before? Anything like that? Yeah, I've been out there. Uh, 2017, I think I've been out there. That's the last time I've been. First time I've been too. It was, it was dope. Yeah, I got to see like a lot of shit. I actually went to a Sparks game when I was out there. That was cool. Like I wish I would have saw Kobe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's my nigga. Like it's still crazy. He dead. He go man. Man, like that shit crazy, bro. Like that shit crazy. Like that's my nigga. Kobe Bryant, my nigga though for sure. Oh, he would have been oh making little Michael yeah. Jordan moves. You know. Yeah. Man, that shit hurt, bro. Yeah, but I mean, everybody gotta go someday, bro. I just hate her. Wow, you feel me? It was his daughter. That was yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Crazy, terrible way. Um, okay, so let's kind of get a break or not a breakdown. I just want to hear, in your opinion, what um, what do you feel like separates you from the other artists in America right now, trying to make it in rap, et cetera? Um. I would say like my overall talent and sound. Um, excuse me. Um, my talent, my sound, my work ethic, my drive, consistency. Um, like I basically already got the mainstream package. Like on some humble shit though. Like respectfully. Like I'm, I'm already almost there with it. Like I just need the the uh, the platform so to say like the platform like once the platform come in and people like really tune in and see what really going on like yeah it's, it's gonna it's gonna go up real soon i feel it i've been feeling it so that's why i've been going so hard with it so yeah so so i know we're looking for management what about like a label deal um are you looking to stay independent or are you trying to get signed to a label if i can do what the baby did bro i don't know exactly what he did but like i know he had signed with uh what was it Interscope. So he signed first with the uh, South Coast Music Group, and then they got him to Interscope and everything like that for a bigger deal. Yeah, so, like, is he considered independent with his own label, or is it, like... He had... So he's with South Coast mm -hmm. and Interscope, and but he also has his own label, which Stunner... Or, no, Stunner's with uh, Interscope, too, but, yeah. you know, Rich Dunk. Um, Wisdom, who we just signed there under, you know, Billion Dollar Baby and everything. Yeah, so, like, um, I mean, somebody throw me a deal, bro. I'm going to catch it for sure. But, <laughs> <laughs> but nah, I mean, I'm trying to, like, get it to the point where I can bring along 
folks with me, like my people. Like I'm trying to bring them with me. So like it's like whoever blow first, you feel me? It ain't no competition. Like I don't see no competition. We got Black Zach. He just started his label. He picked up two of his homies too. So yeah. that's definitely the move. And a lot of mainstream artists do that. You see them do that. Like they go, they might get the label deal, and then they pop off, and then yeah, and then they start label bringing homies. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. Cause it's like. A lot of niggas in my city that rap, bro. It's a lot of niggas that I know that's not from my city that rap that. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 that's why I say, like, I don't understand, like, the envy. I don't understand the jealousy. I don't understand the hate. Because at the end of the day, bro, it's money out here for everybody. It's food. <laughs> it's food out here for everybody. So it's like, you can, you might not can't eat at my table, <laughs> but I can show you how to, you feel me? Even, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I'm not like, Shit, bro, I ain't one of them hate niggas, bro. Like, right. even nigga, nigga can hate me all day, bro. I don't care. Like, right. like I could say fuck you, but at the end of the day, bro, like, if you doing some shit and I got, you know what I'm saying, some leeway to show you how to do it. If I'm already, you know, there and you trying to get there, like, even if, you know, like, nah, bro, I can pull you up. You just not gonna be pulled up to my table. You. I'm gonna show you how to get your own shit. You know? Build your own table, get your own plates, yeah, yeah. get your own little chef, all that. Exactly. Whatever, paper cups, red cups, whatever. Go get your own, but I'm gonna, yeah, like, you know, that's all love, bro. I ain't, yeah, for sure. Man, um, I really like this talk, man. Before we get out of here, I have this last segment called One Piece of Advice. <laughs> so basically, what I'd like for you to do is give one piece of advice to other up and coming artists in America right now trying to make it. I would say market yourself, stack up, you know what I'm saying, for marketing, promotion, um, stay consistent, work hard. You got to be dedicated. You got to put the time in for this shit. Like, this shit don't happen overnight, bro. Like, and you know what I'm saying? This is all me speaking from experience, you know what I'm saying? And just, like, going through a whole process of, you know what I'm saying, from where I was to where I am now. I'm not saying it's, like, a big difference, but, like, for me, like, musically, it's a big ass difference like you know what i'm saying like like i said i used to write so it's like you know what i'm saying whenever i found time to write i do it and you know what i'm saying but now it's like i got a studio at the crib i ain't wasting no time like i make music almost every day so you got to be consistent with that you know what i'm saying you ain't necessarily got to be in the studio every day but work on your craft bro yeah you, know, you got to put time in but nigga don't want to be dedicated nigga don't want to put no time in for shit. so that's why shit really don't be happening for nobody bro but yeah, you gotta. Yeah, you gotta. You gotta do that, bro. Dedication, work ethic. Cause once you get where you trying to go and you don't got none of that, you fuck. Yeah. You fuck. <laughs> big fat. Fuck, bro. Cause if you can't get a label where they looking for consistently, then they gonna drop your ass. So like, yeah, you gotta build that now. Like, go ahead and get that out of the way now. So it'll be easy once you, you know what I'm saying. Once you on. Okay. Are you older than twenty one? Twenty three. 23 okay here's the next one uh give one piece of advice to 21 year old you 21 year old you yeah where was you what was you doing what was you on give advice to that guy Shit. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know what i was doing when i was 21 bro i think i was in school was i in school if i was in school i'm telling myself bro shit. first of all I, I shouldn't even went, bro. Like, I shouldn't even went, bro. I wasted my time, bro. Like, yes, I feel like I really wasted my time, bro. Like, like I said, bro, I grew up playing sports, right? So my whole dream was NBA, NFL, mainly NBA. But I started getting more looks for football, like, later towards my damn high school career and shit. So that didn't work out. So I'm like, shit, bro. Like, I just felt like I was in school for no reason, like, at that point. And then, like, I was transferring. I went from North Greenville to Coast. No, I went from North Greenville to FDTC. Then I went to Coast. What were you studying? Uh, I was doing media, uh, mass com mass communication. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, journalism type shit, like, for sports and shit. But, yeah, I feel like I wasted my time. So, I tell myself, bro, like, be more – like, I should have been, like, way more dedicated. I, sh I wish I had the knowledge I had now, like <laughs> – you feel, but it's all like that, you know what I'm saying? It's learning curve. Like, all right, so. Yeah, so it's, I mean, it's all cool, you know what I'm saying? You live and you learn, so. Ain't nothing wrong with that. All right, man, any last words before we get out of here, bro? Um, 
Like I said, man, vibes from the rooftop out right now on all streaming platforms. Y'all go get that. Y'all go stream that. Go follow my IG. Follow the YouTube page at Camp Demon Entertainment. Y'all go check that out. We got some videos posted up there. They old, but y'all go tune in. You know what I'm saying? Um, look out for most stuff. Like I said, I be posting on my Instagram almost every day. So y'all, man, go tap in, bro. Yeah, we lit. We the vibes. Yes, sir. There you have it, guys. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tapping in, bro. Once again, uh, y'all be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Mouthin Out, and follow us on the gram at Mouthin Out. Um, like I always say, F what you talking about, because over here we Mouthin Out. Peace. Appreciate That was a good interview. Ah.